Hopefully this is going to be a really quick video. I had CyanjaMod 10.1, the very latest like 10.1.2 or 10.1.3 or whatever it was. And I went ahead and flashed it back to stock today and I relocked a bootloader all using the Nexus 7 toolkit that I did a video on how to root, except I just chose how to, you know, uh, download flash stock image and I just followed the prompts and did what it said to do. And it got me back to 4.2.2. Well, I went to settings and then I went down to about tablet about tablet and then I went to system updates and I hit check updates and this sucker started freaking downloading now I'm out of the loop I really don't know how long this has been available or if it's like like today or yesterday or last week I have no clue but without further ado I'm gonna press restart and install and I'm gonna let it go through and install it so I'm not gonna make this video very long or I'm gonna do my very best not to so I'm going to speed this up and fast forward through all this. Alright, looks like it just rebooted. I'll try to put up how long that took. It did take, uh, I don't know, <laughs> a little bit. So this will be the very first boot up after going from 4.2.2 to 4.3. This is pretty exciting. If you, I have a video on how to root the Google Nexus 7. And if you have the donator feature of mSkip's toolkit, then you'll be able to root this bad boy the moment he updates his toolkit to support it. If it doesn't support it already, I have no clue. I have just now, I'm just now knowing that this update's available for the, you know, Wi-Fi grouper version of the Nexus 7. So. I'm kind of, you know, like, wow, 4.3. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, if you have the donator version of Imskip's toolkit, you should be able to root. If it's not updated yet to support it, uh, go ahead and donate to him. Uh, he doesn't require a certain amount or anything like that, just a few dollars, and you'll be able to uh, have all the very latest versions of his toolkit. I said it like several times during my how to root video. I said once this is updated, once Android's updated on the Google Nexus 7, if you have donated, you will be able you'll be one of the first people able that's able to up you know to root your Nexus 7 on the latest update. If you don't donate, then you're going to be waiting much longer for him to push out a full update for everybody. What he does is updates it in incremental little bits so that like people that donated get it first. And then, you know, however long he decides to wait, he pushes out the full, like, all the updates inside the kit. So, whatever. I talk too much, I know. So, here we are. Android 4.3 looks just like it did before I flashed it. So, we're going to go ahead and verify that down here in the About tablet. Sweet. So, we do see 4.3. It is built JWR66V. So tapping on that build number will get you to the developer options right here. And then you'll be able to enable USB debugging and connect your tablet to your computer and root it with mSkip's toolkit. I will have a link to my video in the description below. Please, please know that he may not support 4.3 just yet. But if you donate or have donated, you will be able to root the 4.3 update ASAP, like as soon as he updates his toolkit, you'll donate or just will be the first people that get it. So I, I, I'm not talking about that anymore. So 4.3, this is awesome. There we go. Android 4.3. This is, this is pretty freaking sweet. So without further ado, and without making this video any longer, this was how to update the Wi-Fi Google Nexus 7, aka Grouper, from 4.2.2 to 4.3. It's very, very simple. Just go to About Tablet, check for updates. You can root it using the Mskip's toolkit when he supports the latest version of Android on it. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Vine, I'm on Instagram, I'm on pretty much every social media. Just search www.joshdew and you'll find me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I ask, those two things. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.